This is this is democracy at its finest right here. The second straight day of union protests at the state capitol with a much bigger turnout today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lee Vanamy. And I'm Juliette Dragas. Several thousand union supporters came to Lansing today. And for the second day, Governor Snyder said Michigan's public worker protests should not be compared to Wisconsin's. As WZZM 13's Peter Ross reports, public safety officers are angered over some lawmaker plans to retool Michigan. They came from across the state, police and firefighters, union members. As these people came up here on their own time, they're freezing their butts off, and uh, this is an important issue for them. The issue, the 1969 law authored by Detroit's Coleman Young, known as Public Act 312. The law, Public Act 312, mandates binding arbitration in the event of a police or firefighter contract labor dispute. And both sides must live with whatever outcome the arbitrator decides. It's a public safety issue. We do not want to let the citizens of Grand Rapids, or the state of Michigan for that matter, down. We're here to make sure that their safety continues. But Holland Republican Joe Haverman says 312 has forced cities into contracts they can't afford, forcing them to lay off police, firefighters, and cut other services. It's a 42-year-old law. It, it, it worked perhaps in the 60s and 70s, uh, but today we need to be concerned about the overall health of our communities. Governor Snyder sidestepped a question about the issue today. So is democracy working? So the House is going to continue their work? Work that will include hearing from lots of public safety people. Keep 312! Keep 312! Who are working to keep their union rules. In Lansing, Peter Ross, WZZM 13 News. A House committee heard testimony today on plans to repeal the binding arbitration law. It is not clear when it may come to a vote.